guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on this makeup look right here. I haven't really decided on what to call this look yet, but I think it's very like colourful and flirty. Uh, so we have some wine lips going on and then some matching eyeshadow with gold as well. So if you'd like to see how to get this look, just keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is pin back my hair. So it doesn't get all up in my grill. And I'm going to start off with my eyes today. So let me just zoom you guys in. Why, hello there. Now I'm going to put down a base for my eyeshadow. And for that, I'm going to use the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. And I'm just going to take a bit on my ring finger and blend this all over my eyes. You guys have probably seen me do this a million times now, so I'm just gonna skip through this for ya. <laughs> then I'm gonna set this with my powder, and that's the Maybelline Fit Me powder. Uh, so I'm just taking some on a Real Techniques brush and patting that on. Now onto eyeshadow. I'm gonna take Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek on a MAC 217 brush, and I'm going to blend this into my crease just as our transition shade and this is going to help blend out the colors that we're going to be using. So you really just want to concentrate this color just in and above the crease. Next up I'm going to take Coco Bear by Makeup Geek uh, just on the same brush because who really wants to dirty another brush. And we want to put this into our crease too but don't take it up as high as we did with, what's that first shade? Creme Brulee, um, just so it creates that nice like gradient effect. So just use a really light hand with this and windscreen wipe emotions to blend it out. Now I'm quickly going to take a clean blending brush um, and just blend out what we've already done before moving on to our next shadow. Next up, I'm going to take this cream eyeshadow. This is the Metallics eyeshadow um, by Astralis in the shade Pearl Jammin. Uh, it's really dirty because I've used it so much already. But the texture of these is really interesting. It's like a cream slash gel kind of formula. And I'm going to put that onto the first two thirds of my lid. The only issue with these is that um, if you try to put too much on at once, it goes like really clumpy and gross. So I just tried doing it a little bit at a time. Next up, I'm gonna take this Inglot eyeshadow. This is the shade 450. Um, and it's such a pretty like wine burgundy color. I absolutely love this color. So I'm just gonna take this on a MAC 239 brush. Just pack it on there. And then I'm gonna apply too much. Then I'm going to apply this on the outer third of my eyelid. Don't worry about being too messy around here because we're going to go clean that up after we finish our eyeshadow. Then I'm also going to take this color on that MAC 217 brush that we used and just plop it on there. Um, and then we're going to blend this into the like outer half of our crease as well. So just carefully. So just in there. And yeah, just being super messy with this, whoops. Oh, we'll clean it up, it's fine. Now I'm gonna take that semi-clean blending brush again and I'm just going to blend everything out. Next you wanna take like a matte ivory sort of shade. This is Vanilla by MAC. And you just wanna pack this on to your brow bone as your brow bone highlight. Funny story for you, uh, for the longest time, like up until my second year of uni, actually maybe it was my third year, I thought ivory was a shade of purple. <laughs> and I legit had an argument with one of my best friends, Tess, over what shade ivory was. So yeah, probably wasn't too smart of me considering I was studying interior design, thinking that ivory was purple, but in my defense, Tess also thought that earwigs crawled into your ears and ate your brain. And she's probably going to kill me for saying that on here. Sorry, Tess. <laughs> now, just so you don't think that I'm teaching you how to do a, like a disgusting eye makeup and you're like, ooh, 
Why would I ever want to know how to do that, cat? I'm going to clean up the edges of my eyeshadow. And you can see, it actually looks alright. <laughs> Next, I'm just going to line my top lash line with the Wicked Gel Liner by Sigma. And I'm just going to use... What brush am I going to use? Where are all my brushes? And I'm just going to use the Makeup Geek Bent Liner Brush for this. Okay. I need like the uttermost concentration for this. So I probably won't talk. <laughs> so I've just drawn a really thin line on my top eyelashes. And now I'm going to go in with mascara. And the mascara I'm using today is the Max Factor Masterpiece Transform Mascara. So I'm just going to add a few coats of this to my top eyelashes. So whilst that's drying, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. And I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Wars Pencil in the shade Ebony. Actually, no. First, I'm going to prime them with the Milani Brow Shaping Clear Wax. And this is just going to... Stick down, all the little hairs going everywhere. So I'm going to try and do this lightly today. But I pretty much try to do that every day and they always end up super bold. Now I'm going to set my eyebrows in place with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Um, I'm almost out of this stuff. It's almost time to do another Anastasia order. Shipping is so expensive to Australia though, it's like $20 and when this is like $20 itself and then $20 for shipping means I have to buy in bulk, you know, just to justify the shipping. <laughs> now I'm going to be adding false eyelashes and today I'm going to use the Ardell Laces. These look pretty intense. Whoa. So I just trim them down a little bit. See how these go. Just realize this is like a really unflattering angle for my chin. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Back to the eyelashes. Woo, these are long. Okay, everyone needs to just stop for a second. Nick Bateman has uploaded a new Snapchat. Ladies, if you don't have Nick Bateman on Snapchat, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> okay, so now after that little public service announcement, we can go back to our makeup. So I'm going to prime my face, and for that I'm going to use the Arbonne Makeup Primer. This stuff is really good for filling in pores, um, not so much for making your foundation last longer. So if you have issues with uh, foundation longevity, this might not be the primer for you. And I just put eyeliner on my face, whoops. Okay, so now that that's had time to sink into my skin, I'm gonna go in with foundation and I'm gonna use the MAC Studio Fix Fluid today. So I'm just gonna put a few pumps, ooh. No, I'm not. There we go. So I'm just gonna put a few pumps on the back of my hand and then apply that with my Beauty Blender. And I put way too much in my hand, so I'm just going to blend that down the neck as well. So now I'm going to go in with concealer, and today I'm going to use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Light. And I'm just going to pop this under my eyes. Oh. And then I'm also going to put it down the center of my face to, to highlight. So now I'm going to set our highlighter and for that I'm going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent. I'm just going to take that on a Real Technique setting brush and pat that on everywhere we just concealed. Then for the rest of my face I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is in the shade 220 Natural Beige. And I'm just going to use this on a powder brush. Next up is contouring. Ooh, almost dropped my brush. 
Um, so I'm going to use Hula by Benefit Cosmetics. I'm just going to take that on a MAC 109 brush. And I'm going to sculpt out my cheekbones, jawline and forehead. You guys have seen this like 50 million times. So I'm just going to do it super duper quick. Goodbye, double chin. Put a little too much on my chin. Whoops. Next up for blush, I'm going to use this one by Clinique. This one is in the shade 107 Sunset Glow. So I'm just going to take some on an angled blush brush. Next up is highlighter and I'm going to take Mary Luminizer by The Balm. Love this highlighter. It is so pigmented. It's so pretty. Oh, now I have to wipe that off my hand. Ooh. So I'm just going to take some on my Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush and dust this on top of my cheekbones. Here on my forehead, too much. <laughs> I will blend it out soon. And down my nose, especially on the tip of the nose. And on my chin, my cupid's row. And now I'm going to blend out that forehead highlight. I kind of just want to bathe myself in this highlighter. Now I'm going to do my lower lash line. So I'm going to take the Inglot I... I just dropped it all over my black shirt. Uh, it'll wash out, it's fine. So I'm going to take that Inglot eyeshadow again and I'm going to take it on a pencil brush. Yeah. And I'm going to smudge this on the outer third. Oh, that was a bit too far in. My bad. Now it's on the outer half. <laughs> Someone loves me. It's my boyfriend. What does he say? I like to send him like really attractive photos. Isn't he sweet? No. So now I'm going to go in with Coco Bear on the same pencil brush. And I'm just going to use it to blend out that purple plum shade. I think we've already established that I don't know my colours today. Now I'm going to take some of that Pearl German Metallic Eyeshadow by Astralis and I'm going to put this... Oh, this is not the right brush for the job. I'm going to take this on a MAC 231 brush and I'm just going to put this on the inner third of my lower lash line. And I'm also going to take a little bit of Guns N' Rose Petals. <laughs> Uh, eyeshadow by Astralis as well. And I'm just going to put this on the very inner corner, like just on my tear duct, just right here. Next, I'm going to take a black coal pencil and I'm going to use this to ooh, line my tight line. So, this one's by Eye of Horus. You guys knew that I'm in love with this pencil. Now, I was going to go in with a nude liner on my waterline, but I think I'm going to do something different. And I'm going to go in with a gold coal pencil instead. This one is by Revlon in the shade Antique Gold. And yeah, I'm just going to put this on my waterline. I'm going to go all out with the gold today. Then to finish off our eyes, I'm just going to go in with a coat of mascara onto my bottom eyelashes. So now all we have left to do is our lips. So I'm going to take that makeup wipe and just wipe off any foundation or products that's found its way down there. Now I'm going to line my lips with the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in the shade Fruit Punch. Doesn't that look so good? <laughs> Now for lipstick, I'm going to take the Max Factor lipstick in the shade Scarlet Ghost 720. It's just a really nice sort of berry colour that matches the Inglot eyeshadow we used. So yeah, this is the finished look. I think it's definitely very sexy and seductive. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. Also, leave me a comment below and let me know what video you guys want me to film next. Anyway, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!
Hi guys and 